Fam Fam, I'm Maddie, and welcome to my channel if you have not yet became an official glam star. All that you have to do is hit that subscribe button in order to become one, and let's go ahead and get right into this video. Hey Glam Fam! So today I'm going to be sharing with you all how to reduce bloating at home. Your girl has been on the busy side recently so I haven't really had time to sit down and do any videos but y'all know that I have to bring great content to you guys. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all some ways to reduce that bloating at home that we all experience and that we all go through and I hope that you definitely find this video helpful and if you do, hey! Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Bloating usually happens when excess gas builds up in the stomach or intestines. When bloating occurs right after a meal, it usually resolves itself. But it is often possible to speed up this process. The best way to tackle bloating is to determine its cause. Common triggers for bloating include digestive issues such as constipation, food allergies, and intolerances can lead to bloating. When stool becomes backed up in the large bowel, it can cause a bloating and a feeling of discomfort. Excess gas may also build up behind the stool, making the bloating worse. Now also, you could be bloated because of your diet. Fizzy drinks, too much salt or sugar, and not enough fiber in the diet can all cause bloating. Also, due to hormonal changes, you can also have bloating. Many people experience bloating before and during their periods due to the hormonal changes and water retention. Many home remedies can help to manage the pain and discomfort of bloating. The following quick tips may help people to get rid of a bloated belly quickly. Now one of the number one things that I can recommend is going for a walk. Physical activity can get the bowels moving more regularly, which can help to release excess gas and stool. Getting the bowels to move is especially important if a person is feeling constipated. A walk around the block can provide fast relief from gas pressure. So if you're experiencing bloating due to the fact that you are not going to the bathroom regularly, definitely consider getting yourself some physical activity such as walking in. Now trying yoga can also be good for reducing bloating. Certain yoga poses can position the muscles in the abdomen in a way that encourages the release of excess gas from the GI tract. This can reduce bloating. Child's pose, happy baby pose, and squats can all help people to relieve a buildup of gas quickly. So if you're not interested in going for that walk, definitely test out some yoga poses. Peppermint oil capsules may also be helpful for indigestion and related gas. Manufacturers usually market them as a treatment for the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. But people without IBS can also use them to relieve bloating. Peppermint works by relaxing the intestinal muscles, which allows gas and stool to move along more effectively. People should always follow the instructions on the packet Anyone who is prone to heartburn may need to avoid peppermint. Peppermint capsules are available to buy over the counter and I will also leave some links down below as to where you can purchase your very own on Amazon. Now essential oils. 
pills are also great for relieving bloating. I definitely love my essential oils and that is why I recommend them every chance that I get because they are so beneficial for so many things, even bloating you guys. A study from 2016 tested the effectiveness of supplements containing a combination of pheno and curcumin essential oil in 116 people with mild to moderate IBS. After 30 days, people reported an improvement in their IBS symptoms, including bloating and abdominal pain. People should not consume essential oils without speaking to a doctor first though. This is because some formulations may be toxic or can interfere with medication and there is no regulation of dosages. So if you're going to use essential oils for this, definitely check with your doctor, use at your own risk, but they are also beneficial for helping with bloating. Now if you are bloated, a warm, soaking, and relaxing bath will be beneficial during this time. The heat of the bath can provide relief for a sore abdomen. Relaxation can reduce stress levels, which may allow the GI tract to function more effectively and help to reduce bloating. And I know that a lot of my glam fam loves their sodas. If you are a soda fanatic, let me know down below in the comments section. But something else that will help you during this time of trying to relieve that bloating is replacing sodas with water. Fizzy carbonated drinks contain gas that can build up in the stomach. The carbon dioxide that makes soda and similar beverages fizzy can also cause bubbling and bloating in the stomach. Sugars or artificial sweeteners in the diet can also cause gas and bloating. Drinking water eliminates these issues and helps to treat constipation as well. All that I crave when you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break. Boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself. Asking for help, but nothing seems to work. 